Jana Kramer got emotional and honest while opening up about her split to Mike Cawson. We've got all the details in today's Us Daily. The singer opened up on her Wind Down podcast, which she co-hosted with her ex, and revealed that she is embarrassed about the split. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed that this is how it ended. And then I also feel like I let people down because it's, you know, we've come out here and we fought and we fought for it. But really, the words that was spoken wasn't. I don't know. I, Jenna explained as she fought back tears that she and Mike were in a really good place before everything came to light and that he promised her that there was nothing to be concerned about. If there's anything like just tell me I don't want to find it. Like it, whatever it is, like we can work through it because I just don't want to. And like, it was a, such a connected moment and, you know, he swore on his sobriety. There was nothing. And, um, so yeah, I, but knowing now that like what I know and not having to, yeah, not having to look at things and question and wonder and worry, there is some, <sighs> relief. The twosome previously separated in 2016 after us broke the news that the former football player was unfaithful. He subsequently entered treatment for sex addiction and the duo renewed their vows in 2017. I'm now weak. Mm -hmm. I always thought I was strong by staying. I'm now weak for staying because I'm staying because I don't want to be alone. Mm -hmm. I'm staying because I want to keep my family together. And I don't know if I believe, if I don't, I don't know if I believe a change anymore. The pair share two children, Jolie five and Jace two. And she said that the hardest part will be when they leave her for their first overnight visit with their dad. Like the first time that they like leave for overnight, I'm gonna be destroyed. It's not what I wanted. It's not what I worked for. It's not what I fought for. And it's not fucking fair. And that makes me so angry. It's like that I've, I worked too damn hard for it to end this way. In April, Jana announced that she and Mike were splitting after six years of marriage, writing on Instagram, it's time. As I try to make sense of a reality I never wanted to believe could be possible again, those words have now become a reality. I've fought y'all, I've loved hard, I've forgiven, I've put in the work, I've given everything I have, and now I have nothing else to give. I do trust my husband. Can you put a, a thousand percent? I don't I, I don't know if I can say that. I just I trust my husband today. A source told Us Weekly that Jana's final straw came when she uncovered once again that Mike had cheated on her. They added that she discovered the exact pattern that's happened numerous times before. Now, Mike has yet to publicly respond to the divorce, but a source does tell us that he knows that it's over. Now, earlier this year, Jana sat down with Us Weekly, and at the time she said that she didn't really fully trust her ex, who has been open about his sex addiction relapse in the past. I trust him more. I mean, I, I don't think, I mean, what I say, and we said this in the book too, like, I trust him today. You know, I, I do, I trust him today. He's showing up today. Um, he's showing up as a father, he's showing up as a husband, and he's living it with integrity. Um, and I have to do my work to continue to trust him the next, the next day after that. A source tells us one of the reasons why she stayed so long was because she wanted to keep the family together and have more babies, adding that she was scared of what life would be on her own without him.